Alright you guys, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go because I just got this wired up, but one of the things that was kind of bothering me was our little mushroom farm, such as it was, really wasn't working very well. So I did a little research on mushroom mechanics and I thought, well there's another thing we haven't done and that's build a redstone machine, um, which I'm really not any good at, but I'll, I gave it my best try. And it was painful and it took a long time, so I really decided to just kind of summarize in this episode. And I thought I would combine that with our need to improve the mushroom farm. So I did some research on mushroom mechanics and on very simple redstone wiring. I'm not a redstone kind of gal, clearly. And um, I, I guess I'll just show you what I had in mind. And I haven't flipped the switch on this thing yet. And I really haven't flipped the switch on this, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. But this is this is what I had in mind. Um, let me show you first what I've been doing in the mushroom farm. Um, as stated, it really wasn't working very well. And I haven't finished this off, so I'm not sure if there's going to be anybody in here. Um... What what my plan is, is every time I came down here, I was constantly under attack by something that had spawned in this room. So what I did was I looked at how mushrooms grow and spread, and I kind of redesigned the mushroom farm. My plan is to make this actually just one high once I've got everything out of here that I need. So what I did was I expanded the room and I did a little research on the the water flow and a little research on I did some experimenting on how the water will come down these channels how it will flow and into that pit and one of the challenges that I had was how do I keep from washing my seed mushrooms away while I'm um, harvesting the mushrooms that I that I want so I decided to uh, to bury the mushrooms in the wall and I'm not sure if that's going to work or not but it should because they should be able to spread up one and across one or two so I've got my seed mushrooms in the wall here and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start closing this up now and I don't want my seed mushrooms to get washed away I've got a row of mushrooms the brown ones tend to spread a lot faster. Now I don't have any seed mushrooms in the floor here. Um, I put uh, the seed mushrooms, the red ones, in this, this center row. And then I've got a few more seed red mushrooms here. So I'm going to close these up. And um, close that up. So now as the water comes down these channels, it should just wash off the... Um, these the regular the mushrooms whoops what did I do <laughs> it should just wash off the the mushrooms in, into this water flow once it leaves this room the water is going to flow down here and I should be able to just collect my mushrooms right here I am not entirely sure how I want to address how dark it is right here out of necessity for the mushrooms but I might just need to break out put the block here or something and just break it out when I'm ready to harvest now as far as the machine goes you know hopefully this actually even qualifies as a machine but what I did was for my water channels I dug down right here and I developed this little splitter here so the water will come out here go down these channels and wash the mushrooms off into the collection area and then I created a I put a sticky piston here and redstone wired it I was so proud of myself <laughs> to a, a lever there so I'm gonna go ahead and go pull the lever that piston should expand yes it did and I'm gonna place my water now, in theory, <laughs> what should happen is the water should split, yep it did, wash down into those two channels, so so far so good. Let's see, normally I would just turn that off because that should be enough by now. 
and I do see water flowing in here okay very good very good up oh, I do see a problem definitely see a problem um hmm well I'm not sure if I can dig out these because that would just create another problem. I suppose I could do that, but then that'll wash out the mushroom. Or will it? Oh, it doesn't look like it is. Okay. So that might be okay. But that doesn't address this one over here. Alright, well I'm going to go turn the water off and do a little more tweaking and see if I can get this working more correctly. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, well, that's not bad, though, because that'll just fall off into the, the pit there. Okay. So that is not going to be a problem. So it comes down here. Well, I wonder if the answer is doing this, because that should split the water. Let me just try that really quick before we get too carried away with anything else. Because I really don't want to risk losing my seed mushroom. Yeah, alright. Wait, what did I do? There. Now let's try pulling that lever again and seeing what happens. There goes the water. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, that's still not going all the way. Okay, well I wonder then if the answer is to dig out this center one. Let's try that. Because then the water should flow down both of these channels. Let's see, can I reach that? Okay, now what happens? Okay, so that's tech that's doing much better there. But now it's going too far. Why is that one going that far? I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. Let's see if I can do this without getting stuck and drowning or something. Here we go. Can I reach that? Nope, that one is still... I think it has to fall down all three of these. Let's try that. Okay, is that going? Nope, I don't think I can quite reach that one. There we go. Alright, so now that's coming down all three. It should be anyhow. Let's go upstairs and see what that looks like upstairs. Okay, so it needs to go down all three. So if I bring So if I bring this back and then knock this one out, that should fix that water problem there. Except now it's not splitting see one two that should flow unless that needs there we go okay that should actually flow all the way let's turn the water off for a second let this fix itself one two three one two oh okay that one needs to come out one two oh that's gonna be a problem because that's where my redstone is all right, I need to take this water back, and I need to let's see how am I going to do this if I have to move this back? All right, so.
So that one looks that's going to be okay. Gesundheit, Daddy. Daddy's in here sneezing like crazy. Oop, that's got to go. Alright, so that there. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, dig out that. Alright, so that drops down, becomes another water stream. So how do I get the electricity to the piston? Okay, so I think that, 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 that. Okay, cool. It ain't beautiful, but it works. Alright, so that really needs to go down one more. There isn't a seed mushroom under there, is there? I don't think so. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, whoops, that's not going to work. I managed to get stuck in here. Alright, because now it's not... Well, yeah, no, it's not. Whoops, now I'm stuck. So how can I get... Hmm... How can I get that water to flow the way I want it to? I'm going to have to give this some thought. I'll pause right. the recording. As you can tell from my slowly regenerating health, I was sitting here completely concentrating on my project and I have no idea where this jerk came from. But um, stupid creeper came in here and just blasted the heck out of everything. So um, I need to go see. I'm almost wondering if because I, yeah, that's, uh-huh, uh-huh. Alrighty, Mr. Creeper. Oh man, I heard the hiss and all I could do was... I wasn't even holding a sword, so I couldn't even block. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well let me get this thing put back together and I'll be back. Stupid Creeper. Man, I had to... Ugh. Grr. Yeah, I really need to be more careful because that could have been a lot worse. You know, I wasn't wearing my <laughs> I wasn't wearing my armor either um, when I first came down here, and I thought, you know, I I probably should put that on. That. That would have pretty much ended the series. Um, not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Alright, so is this going to power? Yep. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Alright, so what I was thinking was the water really needs to come in at a different angle and I'm thinking it needs to come in on both sides right here in the middle so that's what I'm doing is I'm creating a, a channel for the water to come in so that it it comes down here now the only thing I'm not sure is if it's going to actually be able to see I think my piston was right there Okay. Was it there? I think. I think so, yeah, pretty sure. Let me go hit this. Okay, oh. Duh. There we go. Alright, yeah, it was there. So the water needs to come down this channel. But is it going to flow long, far enough? I don't know if that water is going to flow far enough for this to work. 
I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go try it. If I can keep from getting blown up by the resident creepers. Alright, so there goes the water. And it is flowing, but it's not splitting off like I thought it would. Let's see. Well, what happens if I take this one out? Nothing. Um, what happens if I take this one out? There we go. Okay, so that one's flowing. Take that one and that one, maybe? I need to update the water flow. Nope, that's not going to work. Alright, so I need to figure out a way to get that into these corners. Hmm. Wow, I am not really sure. Okay, so that's definitely flowing, but why is it not flowing all the way down? I can't really take off this one because there's redstone behind it. Although, if I made this one go down one and then took this one out, it shouldn't... It shouldn't um, do that. Okay, let me block that off and see if I can get it to update. Nope, still not doing it. It should. Why is it not? Oh, because there's... Um, hmm. Alright, well I need, clearly, to do a little more research on how water flows and then... Alright guys, I think I finally have this figured out. Um, like I said, not a redstone kind of gal at all, but I took some time and I, I think I did figure out the workflow. One of the issues that I was having was I would, sometimes the water would flow the way I wanted it to and sometimes it wasn't. But this pattern in the stone seems to work pretty good. So the plan is to come in here, hit the switch, it lets the water flow, all three channels on both sides get filled, and then any creepers? Man, I was complaining about the slimes and that's what I get for complaining about the slimes. I think I would much rather have the slimes spawning in here than the creepers. So if I come in here and uh, I can I can dump a torch, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Okay, so I dumped, whoops, well, that one landed on the stone. So I, this is all going to be covered up anyhow. So, Okay, so five torches. So let's go look and see how many come out. I just want to make sure that however many mushrooms get popped off there. Okay, so how many? Oh, that's going to be hard to, to figure. Oops, rats. Um... All right, so I'm going to dump these torches in this pool over here so that I can accurately count how many came down here. So the plant five torches. Okay, so that's great. All right, so any mushrooms that grow um, will be able to be popped off by the water, and I'll be able to just come down here and pick them up. So now what I wanted to do, oh, see, I need to go turn off that water. So now what I want to do is I'm actually going to cover these up so that nothing spawns in here. That water should go down pretty quick here. So that no nothing spawns in here but, but mush mush mushrooms. Um, there shouldn't be anything be able to spawn 
except for the mushrooms. This should be interesting. I've, I've never done anything like this before, so this definitely should be interesting. And if this works, I might take the trouble of creating a second layer. Make sure I don't cover up that. Okay, so now I shouldn't have to worry about anything spawning in here and coming out and blowing me up ever again. But I think I will. Um, should I leave those doors? Well, I could, I suppose. I'll leave the doors. All right. So now, I guess it's just a waiting game to see what all spawns in here, or um, how productive this little mushroom farm would be. Oops. Oh, what's up there? Nothing I need. All right. So I'm going to go and light up a few more things. And this actually looks like it should work pretty well. Let's stick a torch in there. Make sure nothing can just fall in there. Although I guess even if it did fall in there, it wouldn't, wouldn't matter. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to break out my safety wall. And this will be the mushroom machine. All right one redstone machine. It works every time the way I want it to. Shocking, I know. Turn it off. Come down here and collect any mushrooms that happen to grow. So I'm hoping there will be some mushrooms that grow eventually. Should be interesting to see. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, we built the redstone machine, I hope that counts, and actually expanded the mushroom farm. So, till next time, I'll see you. Alright you guys, I am staring at a wall. I thought, you know, before I actually show you the video, I should probably make sure that, um, that this mushroom, little mini mushroom farm is working. So, I came and I walled myself up not too far from it, and we're going to see if it works here. See if anything else spawned in here. Hello. All right. So, uh oh, I hear slimes. So oh, it's probably this impromptu slime farm I got going here. First, pray in here maybe. Where are you? Oh no, there he is. Oh, that's gonna make me so crazy. Anyhow, okay. So when I closed this up because there was too much water or light getting in there, so I'm gonna turn that on for a minute. I'm going to go smack this guy. Stop it. Go away. Alright, so we're going to turn the water off. And go back down and see if we got any mushrooms. As, as you can see, I got no mushrooms in my inventory here. So let's see if it worked. Oh! Well, it's working. <laughs> Not very many mushrooms, but I did get one. Alright, well I guess that's... That's kind of a success, you think? <laughs> At any rate, it does work. Let's just, uh, I didn't go AFK for very long. Let's just see if that works a little better in the long run. But anyhow, it does work. And there's you guys. I have a pest control problem. All right, well, um, just, uh, I guess we'll call this episode the the tiny machine with mushrooms. Mushroom stew? Something like that. Anyhow, one more thing to tick off of our list. And um, this is actually the first redstone thing I have ever built. So I know it's not impressive by any means, but hey, you got to start somewhere, right? Talk to you later. Bye.